Hey guys, and welcome back to Can Code. Today we are starting our 21st video. We're, we are really plowing through this. So now one problem that I've noticed is that these enemies, they like their footprints and their splatter when they die, which I know is pretty weird to say, actually goes on top of everything, like everything. So if I die, you'll see that they go on top of everything. What we want them to happen is them to go behind everything. I don't think there's anything that they should go on top of. So we're just gonna say to go to back layer, and this we can have it always happen, so we can just put it on the when the flag is clicked. Um, now we can try this again. And there we go, it works perfectly fine now. Okay, now one thing that is pretty annoying is that we don't really have enough bullets. We really run out of bullets very often, or at least I do. And we also don't have that much stuff in the shop. We only have one item. So I think it'd be really cool if we put some bullets in the shop. So let's do that. I'm gonna make three different types of packs of bullets to buy. So I'll just make that in the shop items. You're gonna wanna make three different buttons. One normal one, one when you're hovering over it, and then one when it's purchased. Okay, I've got my first one. It's a box of bullets uh, that costs 100, and it's 100 bullets that come in it. Um, but that's all I have for this. I still have two more I'm going to make. Okay, now I have a house of bullets, but the thing is, is that I have 15,000 bullets here that you get for this, which is really a great, but I have to, like, say it on here, and I don't really like that. I was kind of able to get away with the barrel to put it on the barrel, and with the box, but on the box, but I don't like that as much. I think that what would be better is if we could, when we hovered over it, it would tell us all the information about it. On the bottom here so let's make a new sprite that does that it's shop information and this is gonna be for each of them so we're gonna start uh, with the box of bullets I guess
Okay, here I have the information for the box of bullets. That took me way longer than it should have. Uh, now I realized that you can buy this box of bullets as much as you want. This automatic gun we have purchased because you can only buy it once. But for these box of bullets, we do not need this costume. Or this costume. Or this costume. Okay, so now we have these and we have the first one here. Uh, this will be box of bullets. Now we can copy this for all the other four. Okay, now I just gotta name this um, automatic, and now we have our four information things. Okay, so now what we need to do first, we can just hide this for now, and we can just add in these bullet packs. So here we have it going to this position for the automatic, uh, but. We're going to have uh, bullet box one, bullet barrel one, and bullet house one. And I want these to go, I actually want the um, bullet box to go to this position, and then we'll have the bullet barrel go to zero and then at 130 we will have the bullet house go to that like that and now finally for the automatic gun it just needs to have the same and it needs to have a minus 130 X position and then the Y position needs to go lower I don't know how much lower we can try zero and see what that's like uh, okay, so let's just try it. So go to the shop. Okay, zero is not good enough. We need maybe minus... Let's just try minus 90. Minus 90 is too low. Let's do minus 60. Maybe minus 40. That's good. Okay. Now we just need to program in these... Uh, these items up here so let's say let's duplicate all of this and this is going to be if the cost number is equal to 2 actually it's not 2 it would be uh, 4 then the uh, set uh, if item 2 of guns is equal to 1 then switch nope we don't want this at all we don't want this at all we'll just delete it completely now here we'll say switch the costume to bullet box two, and then if the cash uh, the cash is greater than 99, change the cash by minus 100. And at the end, instead of stopping the script, we're going to wait until not mouse down or well I'll actually say uh, mouse down or touching mouse pointer um, you know actually I sorry I take that back I think it would look better with just this okay so now we're gonna set this to uh, bullet box one and we're not gonna switch this to anything we will delete this block uh, delete block starts on purchase here we're going to replace item three of items with one and we're not gonna replace any of the guns uh, and we're gonna go actually no we're not gonna do it that at all so we're gonna go back here we're not gonna replace any items because it's not really an item it's just a number of bullets so we're going to change bullets by 100 that's what's gonna happen for that now we're gonna duplicate this here and say if the costume number is equal to 
bolt box, the bolt barrel is six. So if this is six, then do uh, bullet barrel one, bullet barrel, oh sorry, bullet barrel one here, and then uh, bullet barrel two here, and we'll set this to 999, minus 1000, and then change the bullets by 1250. Alright, now we will duplicate this. And this is going to be 8, I believe. You can just check. 8 is right. Here, we're going to set this to the last one, bullet house 2, and this to bullet house 1. And then this is going to be 9999. Nine, nine, nine. Boy, oh boy, this is a big one. Minus 10,000. Um, and then we're going to change the bullets by 15,000. So this is a big transaction here, but uh, if you want to buy it, you can buy it. It's a good deal, actually. Um, now, here we have, whenever I see buttons, delete this clone. Okay, so that should work. Let's see, if we go to shop, we have this, box of bullets, barrel of bullets, house of bullets, and then auto. All of these, we cannot buy any of them. Okay, now what we can do is we can go and just get some money for the bullets. So actually what we'll do is we want the, uh, we have the cash here. In fact, yeah, I don't know. We'll just go back, play. Okay, now we've got a hundred bucks, so we can just die here. We're going to die with 35. Four. Yeah. Okay, 29 bolts we add. So we can go to the shop, buy a box of bullets. Now we go back, play, and now we have 129 bullets. So that seems like it's working pretty well. I don't really want to test out the thousand ones, but if the one worked, then the other one should work. Alright, that's really cool. I really like how this is turning out. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Subscribe.